Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today, <laughs> quite late, we're going to do three dank memes from Site19 at the same time. I basically just collected up memes uh, every week that I wasn't able to do one, and uh, I figured if I didn't get it done now, I was never going to get it done. I apologize, it's just really, really rough to get in any recording sessions, being in a public room as I am right now, <laughs> but I'm trying which I, I i keep saying like i'll see you next week i'll uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes I, i'm gonna try to aim for a schedule of wednesday just for the short term until i get my own space back where i can do my own uh work but uh in the meantime before we get started hit the subscribe button bitches yeah that's right i called you bitches there's nothing you can do about it either. Well, I guess you could not hit the subscribe button and that would suck for me. Maybe I shouldn't have called you bitches. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, this one is my Dead for December. Uh, characters in SCP articles. Oh, look, a loving family. Characters in the Rubbers adaptation. Let's just cut all of the girls out. This would be better if there were uh, people of color to cut out as well. <laughs> it's just... I know part of it is probably the simplistic design of the animation requires this sort of thing uh but at the same time maybe just go a little above and beyond and don't completely whitewash and i guess mail wash the uh articles <sighs> it's not that difficult to animate uh, female characters come on oh another one by dead for december 2 when you're reading an scp on mobile in a footnote yeah you click send you to the bottom of the page so i saw this and i was thinking about how i don't use mobile a lot uh but i have recently been trying to get into the habit of checking my pages on on mobile and the footnote system is just awful you, <laughs> you just you click a footnote and you're sent all the way to the bottom of the page then and some of these things are like twenty thousand words long so you have to scroll all the way back up and try and find your spot and it is ridiculously ridiculously annoying i just yeah no i've i've seen this and it's quite annoying Dead for December 3. Diana Ribeiro showing ethics committee liaison Marinos that literally sending her coworkers to hell is not an ethics committee for <laughs> I mean, uh, there are certainly circumstances where that would be true. I haven't actually read this. I think this is from one of the uh, 7K entries that I haven't quite read yet. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, definitely, definitely situations where that's possible. The foundation after putting it on the shore in a five by five by five steel box. We did it, guys. This is by uh, Hazzy Attorney eighty four. Oh man, yeah, no. At seeing the SCP Foundation think that everything can be solved by putting it into a box. A lot of things can be solved by putting it in the box, especially the stuff that doesn't change if you don't mess with it. Um, but not every elder chore. Maybe uh, stop patting yourselves on the back too much. What if? Uh, what if that's an SCP that? Uh, uh, anytime you think you have it contained becomes harder to contain. Shortest pages in the last 30 days. People who complain about modern SCPs being too long. I'll ignore that. It's true. Ice Phoenix 44 who created this meme. Uh, there is an entire section of the site devoted, or this entire page on the site devoted to the shortest pages in the last 30 days. And it's mostly well kept up. Uh, there are a few times that really long articles sneak in because they use some code magic. I'm sure that's not the intention, but because the way the module is, cre is created it just checks for character count so if you have a page that calls to like three other pages but just has a small amount of code to do it uh it will uh sometimes show up but it, the vast majority of the articles on those pages are really really short and you can read them and have fun with them if that's your thing oh yeah we've got you surrounded come use our css <laughs> I hate modern design. I hate modern. So I don't know much about this particular meme format by Jimmy Boy Haha, -ha, but I think I've seen a couple of these. <laughs> and <laughs> it is a little weird. Uh, Kalinin came back to the site very, very recently just to complain about CSS and then disappear again, I guess. So I, I, I mean, let people make the articles they want to make. And if you don't like them, you can always downvote. Oh, yeah, here's another one. Stop being so negative. Not every SCP needs to be dark and serious. I hate mainless SCPs based. I hate mainless SCPs based on memes. I hate mainless SCPs based on memes. 
games. This is by Negative Gamer. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, again, it's a, it's a, there is two sides to this. I mean, if you're going to create an article based on a meme or based on a joke or based on a pop culture reference, it needs to be able to stand on its own. It can't just be counting on everybody understanding what it's referencing. Um, if it is, I think it's generally a bad article. But that doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means you have to do it better. <laughs> Boring article, not engaging, uninteresting, use of redaction, minus one. So this is an example of uh, redactions that actually... Uh, <laughs> this is uh, actually a point, a point of order. So see this redaction here? This makes sense because this is a replication of a physical document. Whereas the SCP, oh, by the way, this is by, this meme is by Nev Guy. Um, the, this is a physical document that's been replicated online in a digital form, uh, as opposed to purely digital documents that have no, there's no reason to put a black box on it. And it's also an example of a document where you're allowed to know what you're not allowed to know, where in a lot of situations, especially on the SCP wiki, you wouldn't. So the context surround, like, for example, if this was, if you, if you weren't allowed to know that there was a person, uh, who, uh, in this particular case, this is a, essentially that there is either a, uh, an agent or a, um, or a person who we're not allowed to know the identity of who has supporting this, uh, sworn statement, right? We're allowed to know that there's a person, that there is a person. We're just not allowed to know the name of them. But in an SCP document, you would know that. So this whole section would be removed. And it would just be introduction. <laughs> this is a shoulder meme. First name, Dr. Sumerian. Last name. Last name, shoulder, you misspelled name. Not a real doctor. I I am disappointed. But uh, I look, if this was my character, I look fairly disappointed as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a long name, but it's Dr. Jeremiah Sumerian. Not a real doctor? Come on. You shouldn't be upvoting low. This is back to this. Low effort articles. It sends a bad message that you can just post low quality stuff to the wiki. Quit having fun! Yeah, but neither of these articles are all that uh, funny. I mean, if you enjoy them, I guess that's great, shoulder. But <laughs> who again made this meme? Oh, right, another shoulder meme. Retired Olympic swimmer Ian... Sumerian, Sumerian, aha! <laughs> I don't understand really the point of these memes other than to be sort of funny, but uh, which I guess is the point of every meme, right? Yeah, but like, what what's the what's the commentary? What are you trying to communicate, shoulder? Just that I uh, my name sounds similar similar to similar yeah, similar similarian. Anyway, <laughs> it's not what this says, but it's what came out. Similar to sw it's 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 a bit of a uh, tongue twister. Sumerian sounds similar to Swimmerian. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I better get off of here before everybody wakes up and ruins this recording. So. <laughs> If you can uh, join my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian. I think most of you guys know by this point that my uh, house was complete. Well, not completely, but my uh, room was completely destroyed and I lost most of my belongings. Uh, if you can go to um, patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge there, that would be great. If you'd like to, you can go to uh, GoFundMe as well and you can pledge some amount on there, but don't pledge more than you can afford. Uh, I, I'm not in like a life or death situation. It's just real rough right now. <laughs> That's all. Uh, and thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on next Wednesday. We'll try to make it next Wednesday. Also, a very special thanks to Christina Amos and Sinjariki, both of who are pledged at $100. And if you'd like to support the channel, but for some reason Patreon's not for you, or you don't uh, feel like going to the GoFundMe for my <laughs> disaster of a house, I have started channel memberships, which you can join underneath this channel. So if you'd like to do it that way, you absolutely could do that too.